Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alone and welcome to another old school video. I'm about to hit 40 mining, two more iron ores and I will be done. By the way, if you're wondering like, oh, why aren't you just doing quests? Because you only have 62 quest points to get these skills to whatever levels and then after when you've done a bunch of quests, then you can level them. The thing is, I'm not an iron man and efficiency really doesn't matter that much to me. Yeah, sure, I can do quests and probably gain these levels a bit slower or I can gain them at the issue the same speed and also get quests done but at the moment I don't really care about that also I really hate doing quests so probably what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to do whatever I feel like on this account and then sometime I will just do a bunch of fucking quests like I will do so many quests in just a row because that's usually how it goes for me so if I start doing quests I will probably do a few of them and uh, I just don't feel like it right now and the goal is to get 40 baseline in all stats so let's get on that. Let's just bang out 40 fire making next. This is going to be so fast. I mean, I can just buy the logs and fire make them instantly. And let's just do a test here to see how long it takes. I'm going to type this in the chat. It's 036 right now. I'll be back when I'm 40 and we will look at the timestamp again to see how long it took. Okay, so the fire making speed run is about to be done. This is going to be 40 fire making and yeah, there we go. Look at the chat. I'm going to just type something or well I guess 113. So how fast was that? That was like 34 minutes. No wait. Yeah, something like that. 30 minutes ish at least. Very fast skill as always. Let's do something else. Alright, so definitely on to a way slower skill now. Runecrafting. I'm 16 already, so I have a start at least, but yes, this is going to take quite a lot longer than fire making. It's not going to be a 30 minute thing at least. Let's see how much experience I get from one inventory. 200. Ah, it's actually not too bad. 17 runecrafting. Nice. So I kind of forgot to record level 20 because it was so fast after where I already was. So I guess this is a milestone. 27, which is cosmic runes. Let's see those. 27. The problem is I'm using dual rings right now, so I can just do this, teleport to Castle Wars, go to my bank, get a full inventory of pure essence like this, boom, probably not the fastest clicker in the world, but anyways, and then I can just teleport back to dual arena and go to the altar. So I don't know what other runes would be faster to do than this, like to 40. I mean, I could just do fire runes to 40 probably and it would most likely be the fastest so I'm just going to do that I think. Okay not quite 40 yet but 35 is a milestone because that is double fire runes. Two fire runes per craft. Nice. I'm just doing a bit of slayer between by the way but I am currently 37 so the next clip will be me getting 40 but I got the brittle key. Which is 1 in 150 from Gargoyle, so it's not uh, that rare, but hey, it's something that I achieved. Okay, there we go, I'm back from slaying just to finish up the runecrafting, and you can see on the meter here, I'm about to hit 40 runecrafting, so that's going to be the next milestone. Yeah, this was definitely slower than fire making, but actually it wasn't that slow, it's just level 40. So there we go, that is 40 runecrafting achieved, pretty nice. Let's do another skill now, we only have construction. Hunter and Herblore left. Pretty nice. So I'm going to go for construction and I am literally zero experience right now. And I don't even have a house. So yeah, I have to buy a house. So let's do that real quick. There we go. It's now in Remington. Let's do this. So about to be uh, 20, which is the halfway mark. But in terms of experience, it's quite the difference. Like look at this. 37k for 40. 4.5k for level 20. Oh well, I'm going to do uh, these normal bookcases to level 29 and then I'll just do the oak bookcases uh, which doesn't even require nails for some reason. I don't know why but that's the design of the game I guess. And then I'll do that to 40. 30 construction incoming, only 10 more levels to go. Extremely fast skill, that is 1245 total as well. That's actually quite a lot. Well, I, I mean, we've got so many skills to 40 that we didn't have before, so of course we're going to gain quite a lot of totals, which is very good for the account. Okay, 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 this is going to be uh, not the last one, but uh, this is going to be the last one. And now we're going to get 40 construction, so another skill baseline hit to 40. Now we only have Herblore and Hunter. Hunter is going to be an annoying one. The low level Hunter is painful. 
I'm just going to start doing that now actually. Hunter is going to be the next one and then I'll just uh, end it with an easy herb lore. Now the best way to start Hunter is always doing the thing in the Varrock Museum where you just get 1000 free experience. Here we go, I'm going to be getting, I think it's 9? Let's see. Yeah, 9 Hunter and also 1000 uh, Slayer experience I think it is. Yeah it is. So that's a pretty good head start because the first levels are painful. Oh my god, dude. Okay, 20 Hunter just achieved, but Jesus, this is so boring. <laughs> okay, I, rem I am reminded again why the early levels of Hunter is so painful. I have to catch these uh, butterflies all the way to 29 and then I can do the lizards with the net. Like, let's go to, what is it, net traps, 29. Yeah, swamp lizards. Wait, yeah, I think that's the best way at 29. I'm not sure though, but I think so. But before then, uh, I have to catch these butterflies for 24 experience each and then release them from the jars like this. That is not very enjoyable. Okay, here we go. This is going to be 40 Hunter. It took quite a while, but anyways, that is done. Now we only miss Herblore, which is pretty huge. And then we have all base 40s. Also, look at my combo level. That's pretty close to being able to use Duradel, if you ask me. So 30 herb lore incoming right now and I also just hit 1.3k total which is quite a milestone but anyways I'll just get back to you guys when I'm 40 herb lore and we are 40 baseline everything because I mean herb lore is such a quick skill so this is going to take like 10 minutes. Okay so you can see in the chat yeah it's very fast like 2 minutes per level uh, on the estimates and there we go 40 herb lore and now I have 40 base which was the goal for skilling for a bit so I might get back to combat or I might do something else like quest. Ah! Actually, you guys will see in the next clip. See you then. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get 80 strength and that should get me to 100 combat for sure because pretty much all my combat stats are the same, like 79, 80 or 82 as my highest. So getting that 80 strength is definitely going to get me to 100 and I'm just going to do it on gargoyles with a whip. Now you can't train strength with whip but it's alright because I just want to get some money anyways from these gargoyles. Not on a task and I'm just going to get this 50k experience and... After that, I'll get back to you guys with all the loot that I got and, uh, well, how much money I made from this. So here we go, this is going to be 80 strength achieved and that was all done on shared experience with the whip. So that is a total of like, what, more than 150k experience because there's also HP experience. So it's almost like 200k experience because like 50k defense, 50k strength, 50k attack, 50k-ish hit points. So yeah, that's 200k experience gained in total from Gargoyles, and I should be 100 combat, there we go, 100. Let's see how much money I made, because this was actually pretty nice. In cash, over a mil. That is a lot. How much in uh, all the other stuff? I think this is actually worth quite a lot as well. Let's see uh, the total value. 1.5 mil, and then this Gargoyle cancels my price check. But yeah, 1.5 mil, and... We got 80 AA strength and 100 combat, so now I can use Duradel. But before I go and actually use Duradel, I think it's kind of a shame that I don't even have chivalry. Sh I don't know how to pronounce this. Chivalry. Chiv chivalry. Chivalry. Exactly, you know what I mean. So um, I'm going to have to do the King's Ransom quest, but that is a lot of questing. Look at this. Yeah, I need to do Merlin's Crystal, Holy Grail, Murder Mystery, Black Knight's Fortress, and one small favor, which is not a very small favor, by the way. Let's not uh, get destroyed by these Aberrant Spectres. So yes, I need to do a lot of questing. Hopefully uh, there's not too many requirements, but uh, I think most of the quests are pretty short, except for one small favor. And then uh, the King's Ransom quest is not that bad either, so it should not be too hard. Dude, what? Six points. For this Merlin's Crystal quest. Isn't that a bit much? I mean, it was like literally a 5 minute quest. But hey, I'll, I'll take it. Free quest points. So I'm doing the Holy Grail quest. And this is actually kind of funny. Like the people who are doing this quest is obviously way lower level than me. Because I'm just really late at doing this. It's just kind of funny how like they're standing in a line. Just killing this boss. Like, oh, it's his turn now, then it's his turn, and then it's me. So I just have to wait for these guys to finish. Or I can hop world and just get it instantly, maybe. Probably going to do that. Easy enough quest. 70 quest points, holy grade completed. Did I get any levels? Probably not, if anything, prayer. Yeah, I did get 61 prayer. Pretty nice. That is how much combo level? Pretty much nothing, I think. But yeah, that's another quest completed. 
So not that much more left. Three quest points for murder mystery. All these easy quests that takes like no time to do at all give so many quest points. It's so strange. I don't know why that is. But 1k crafting experience as well. That's huge. Wow. Such a difference. Jesus. Alright, that is uh, Black Knight's Forge completed. I kind of uh, just exited the uh, quest screen pretty fast so I didn't get to show you guys. But hey. It was not really anything interesting anyways as a reward, but that is one small favor left and then King's Ransom, so let's do that. Holy dude, Jesus, this quest is uh, very fun to do. Uh, the uh, one small favor quest is definitely a small favor, but uh, it's uh, done now and I should be getting two experience lamps of 10,000 experience and I'm going to put those in runecrafting. Okay, there we go, okay. How many quest points? Two. Alright, so I'm going to put these in runecrafting. I'm 40 right now, so let's see where we end up. Uh, where the hell? There's runecrafting. Okay, one and 20,000 runecraft experience. That's actually insane. Like, that's so much experience. 44, yeah. That's actually really, really nice. So, just four free runecraft runecrafting levels for that. Pretty neat. Now I have everything for King's Ransom. So, let's do it. Okay, finally, it's going to be the end of King's Ransom. Now, this doesn't directly unlock the prayers, piety, and chivalry. Chiv chivalry, okay? 33k defense experience, that's actually insane, that's so much. But it unlocks the Night Waves training grounds. Now, I think I am, like, really high combat for doing that, so... I think it's going to be very easy, but I'm going to, uh... Wait, did I get a level for that? No. Alright, 67 to 80, that's pretty nice. Then I have 80 in all melee combat stats, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the Knight's Training Ground, and I should be able to just easily do it. And I get back to you guys when it's done, and I have unlocked the prayers. Dude, what? I am actually going to die. I died. Well, it's a safe mini game, so it doesn't really matter that much, but... That was way harder than I expected. Also, I thought uh, you could actually use prayer for this, but apparently you can't. So I could have brought uh, this many more sharks, but uh, that is uh, slightly awkward. Uh, but I'm going to do it now. It's not that bad, I guess. Oh, wait. I was like, how do people on lower level even do this? But you just start from where you died. So it is actually very easy. You could actually just do this without food just go in and die go in and die and go in and die and just be fine i think this is the last one actually so let's just see if i can hit and kill him and then uh, i will have unlocked chivalry shiv shilva chivalry. <laughs> yeah there we go holy that's a lot of experience that's 80k experience and we have that unlocked i'm just gonna call it shiv from now on to be honest there's just just no point of me trying to use the the real name for that. 76 Slayer. You might have seen that I was close to it on the top here before, but uh, I am currently on a Hellhound task that I got from... What even is the name of the Slayer Master that gives the Brimstone Keys? It's like current Cora, Cora something. I don't even know, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't even look at the names really, but uh, I had the task already, so I just thought I'd complete it, and then after I can get a task from Duradel. So I finished the Hellhound task, and this is going to be the first Duradel assignment of this account. So please give me something good that I will get a lot of experience from. 20 Black Dragons, that is not good at all. How many points do I have? 100. Yeah, I'm going to skip that. Let's see what the uh, actual assignment is going to be. 32 Skeletal... Uh, very good. I'm happy about that. That's probably good money. And that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it and look at these hits. I just hit a 33 with my whip. That is because of the new prayer. 36. This does a lot. Like I used these combat potions before on these wyverns and I did not nearly hit as good as this. So this prayer was great to get and I really can't wait to get piety. That is going to be massive when I get it, but I still need 9 prayer levels for that, and it is quite expensive and I don't have that much money. So, I will be needing to do Slayer, and Skeletal Wyverns was a very good task to get, and uh, yeah, see you in the next one guys, take care, bye bye.